from the United Arab Emirates. Um, dream interpretation, it's a, it's a big business nowadays. You see people advertising that we can interpret dreams and uh, on the internet as well as she says she's seen stuff. Um, regarding dream interpretation, what's the sunnah on this? Or what's the authentic hadith regarding this kind of somebody interpreting dreams here? Well, first of all, if it's a good dream and you enjoy what you see, mm -hmm. the Prophet tells you, alayhi salam, only to tell it to those who loves you. Only tell it to those who love you. And don't tell it to anyone mm -hmm. if it's a good dream. Because usually, whatever interpretation you get, it will come true. Usually. Not always, but this is the norm. If it's a bad dream, the Prophet tells us, do not tell a soul about it. If you wake up not feeling well, being scared or afraid of what you have seen, and you don't feel good about it, the Prophet tells us that this is from shaitan. All what you have to do when you wake up is say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim, three times, and blow three times over your left with some moist don't spit especially if your wife is on your left so this is not advisable if she's awake having said that mm -hmm. this is what uh, should be done now dream interpretation was there when the prophet sallallahu was there and he used to interpret it for them <laughs> and he, after every fajr he used to say had any one of you seen a dream and the companions would say yes i've seen this and that and the prophet would interpret it to them Abu Bakr was also among the very famous interpreters of dreams. But to have it in the form as we see that it now on TV stations and internet, and it's a, it's, it's a mega million business where people say, well, I've seen this, and the guy says, yeah, this means so-and-so. And people are so connected to it as if it's fortune-telling. Now, this is not what was intended to begin with with interpretation. It was intended to give good, good tidings to people so that they would, you know, be more optimistic of their lives. But to go and shift into controlling people's lives and running their lives through dreams, this is not the way it should be.